In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a German twisted cast on. I'm gonna show you here on a sock that is already finished. This has had a German twisted cast on. I love the look of a German twisted cast on and it is a pretty stretchy cast on. So it is great for the cuff of your socks. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I have my skein of yarn, I have my needles here. I use a US1 2.25 millimeter needle. You definitely use your needle of preference and size that you prefer or to get the um, gauge that you need. So I'm going to make sure I have enough yarn pulled out to cast on my sock. And we're going to start with a slip knot. So to do a slip knot, sorry for the needles on the table there, um, we are going to take the yarn. I have this is coming on this side is coming from the cake and then this side is the tail end. We're going to take the yarn and wrap it around our pointer and our middle finger and then put this working end over to the left of that. Then the way that I do it is I stick my needle through that loop, grab the working end, and then pull it snug on the needle. So to work the German twisted cast on, it is similar to a long tail cast on and how you set up, but there is an additional step that you need to take throughout the process of getting the stitch on your needle. So what I have done here, I have, this is my working end right here, my tail end over here, got my pointer finger and my thumb separating those two. And then with these three fingers, I like to grab the two ends that are going down. So then you're going to take your needle, I like to pull it down, still holding on to everything. And then for the German twisted cast on, we're going to take our needle under these two right here that are coming from the thumb. We're going to stick the tip of the needle down through there and pull that one forward. Then we're going to bring it around and grab that. Here comes the extra step. You're going to twist your thumb down. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you many more times. And you're gonna pull your needle through that loop there. Then I take my thumb out and just tighten that up a bit. Of course, not too tight. You don't want your cast on edge too tight. So again, you've got your little kind of slingshot thing created here in your hand gonna stick your needle under both of those and grab that back loop, pull it forward. Then you're gonna go around and grab that, twist your thumb down and pull that loop through. Around the back, grab that back loop, pull it forward. Oop, got ahead of myself there. <laughs> Grab that, twist your thumb around, and pull it through. And of course you can, I'm gonna pull this needle back there so it'll stop making that noise. I should have thought of that sooner, I apologize. So again, your slingshot. Grab the back, come back around and grab that. Twist your thumb down pull it through and tighten it up. Do it a couple more times for you guys. And the good thing about a video tutorial is that you can always rewind, pause as many times as you need. Can you guys hear my cat meowing in the background? <laughs> Emmy does that when she's looking for Wyatt. 
after he leaves for school in the morning. All right, so that is how you do the German twisted cast on. And I love the look of it. Let me pull it over and we'll look at it one more time. I love, I don't know, it leaves a little bit of bumps there, but I think it gives it a nice, a nice look to a cast on. So that's the German twisted cast on. I hope that this tutorial was helpful in learning that. And when you're doing the cast on, you just cast on as many stitches as your pattern calls for, and then you're ready to go.